Hey guys, downloading the Google Play Store on the newest Amazon Fire tablet is not that hard. I've got the 2024, this is either the 13th or 14th gen, I'm not exactly sure, uh, O&N tablet. It's the 2024 edition, so this one just came out. I got the Google Play Store on here downloaded. I can install whatever I want to. There's no issues whatsoever. And this is done in uh, some pretty easy steps. If you downloaded it before, you might be familiar with this. If not, there is a How To Geek article that I'll link down below where it basically has all the downloads and the steps to do this. And you're doing this at your, your own risk. Make sure you don't have any micro SD card installed. And you're going to want to download the Play Store files here. So what I did was I just went down each and every one. Uh, and also before that, you actually do have to go into storage just to make sure for some people it's still not enabled to download stuff outside of the App Store. So you go into Settings, go to Security and Privacy, and then you uh, select Apps from Unknown Sources. And then finally, you're going to click Allow from this source. It's a Silk browser or whatever browser you, browser you use. If you're not sure, you just go back to the Home button and you see it says Internet on here. This is the Silk browser. That's the default browser for everyone on the Fire tablets as of right now. So. With that out of the way, you can finally go ahead and start downloading these. And uh, make sure you download the APK files. So we're going to go down here. This is the latest one. So I'm going to click on Google Account Manager. And I have it here. And all I did was I just clicked the download button. And it should start. Or actually, you find for some of them, you might have to find the link. But yeah, this one loaded up here. You just click Download APK. And just click Done. Make sure you don't open anything up. Then once that's done, you go to the next one, which is the Google Services Framework. So that's the second link here, Google Services Framework. And if for whatever reason this doesn't show up automatically, you're going to have to just keep scrolling down and just download the latest variant and make sure it says APK on here, not a bundle or anything like that. If it says, if it says bundle, go to the, the bottom one, the next one, and download that. Uh, and then there might be another issue if you do download the older version where it, it might say there's a problem parsing the package. And that's where you just have to keep downloading the older version until you find the right one. Usually it's the second or third one after that that should work. And then the third, there's two more downloads after this. The Google Services Framework is done. Then there's Google Play Services. So I just go there. I click on the latest one and just went down here, just looked for it, and I found this one here. So you see these ones say bundle. So avoid where it says bundle here. Just go to the APK one uh, and download link expired. Please try again. So I don't know it says that, but yet I still see the download button here. So once you click that, you download here. It's a 202 megabit, so this will take us some time. And then finally, there's one more. It's like a smaller link. There's only one link for this because it's universal. And you might miss it. It says all models, Google Play Store. And you're finally just going to download that part too. That one also shows up as a bundle sometimes. And one other thing is that the link will look a little different. It's going to be in blue this time. Uh, so make sure you don't press anywhere else because sometimes there's a second download button here or there. And they might want you to fill out stuff. Do not fill out any of your personal information, by the way, because that's just a scam. This is totally free. And you're doing this at your own risk and expense. So... Just keep all that in mind. You don't have to give any information out. And then you make sure you click APK. In this case, I do have the APK version here. So I'm just going to click. I click download here. Uh, and then once that's done, you go into home, click on files. And then you're going to want to click on the three menu, the three line menu. Go to the, I'd go to downloads actually. And you should have these four. Uh, if, it, if it shows up like this, then you can just change it, change the filter here to click this so that you can see what the names say because you have to download these in order. So the first one you download is gsf.login. And once you once you download that or install it, click done. Don't click open on any of these. Some of you may not have not the option to, others may. So just don't click on open, just click done. Then you go to GSF and then GMS and then finally vending. Once you install all four of those, uh, you're gonna wanna restart your tablet. So by holding the power button, click restart. And then once you restart, you should see the Play Store on there, usable, ready to go. So I hope you guys found this video, video helpful. If you did come across any issues, I do have a playlist here that you can check out. And uh, leave a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more. As always, thanks for watching.